So now that we've finished cleaning our data, we can move to the modeling phase. But first, let me show you why the modeling phase is important. Let's start by creating a quick visualization. So click Close and Apply here. And then here we can click on Aid Received. We can click on um, Year. We can put that in a bar chart form so we can see that, or maybe we want it in a table form like this. So once it's in the table form, we can say, OK, now let's look at HIV prevalence and number of deaths. And what you'll see is these numbers are not changing. And the reason why these numbers are the same for every year is because there's no inherent relationship between these three different data sets. So in order to create a relationship, you click on the modeling tab and manage relationships. And once you have managed relationships here, you can click auto detect and it will say found no relationships. Oh, that's weird. Let's see what happens when we click new. So in new, we can say we want to create a relationship between aid received and deaths, perhaps. And you can see that there should be a relationship based on country, but this is a multi-column relationship, so we should also have a relationship based on year. Well, Power BI data modeling doesn't allow you to have a multi-column relationship. You can have one relationship on one column and then a different relationship on a different column, but the, there's only one relationship active between data sets at a time. So because of this issue, this requires us to go back into edit queries. So we'll close the manage relationships dialog. We'll go back into the query editor. And what we're going to do is actually create a new column. And that new column will um, allow us to combine the other two columns, country and year, and then create a relationship between the new column on each of these three data sets. So you do that by clicking on Add Column and then Custom Column. And then here, we can just say this is going to be our Join column. So we'll get rid of that Custom. We'll add Join. And we'll say Join is Country. And we'll use the ampersand and then Year. This is what's called a DAX expression in order to create this custom column. And there's all sorts of different DAX functions and things like that that will help you with expressions. So we'll click OK, and there's our join column. But now we have to do it to all three data sets. So custom column, join. That's why I copied and pasted this earlier, so I could just paste it there. And then under HIV prevalence, custom column, join, and now paste it there and click OK. So when that's done, I can go back to the Home tab and click Close and Apply. And now when I do the mo first of all, what you'll notice is these numbers got updated for me automatically. Why did these numbers get updated? Well, it's because um, it automatically detected a relationship between these tables. So if I click on Modeling and Manage Relationships, you'll see that there are relationships here already. Now, it looks like they've joined both these things on Aid Received, but I prefer to join them on HIV Prevalence. So if I take the first one that I think is wrong and I click Edit, I can, instead of joining on Aid Received, I'll join on HIV Prevalence on the Join column, and I'll click OK and click Join and I get the same data, but I think it's easier to manage. The other thing, reason why I did that is, I don't like that there's country, join, year, join, year, country, country, join, year, here. So what I can do is, in order to kind of force me to pick the right ones, I can hide some columns. So I don't want country three times, so I'll hide it in two record sets, hide. And then I don't want join in any of them, so I'll hide it in all three. And then I don't want year in two of them, so I'll hide that. And now I've got these three data sets. So if I click on year, and I click on HIV prevalence, and I click on by country, I can start getting you know good data. I can tack on number of deaths to that if I want to. Oh, look, I've got these old years here. And these old years might kind of mess up some of my visualizations. So what can I do about that? Well, I can filter if I'd like to and only pick the years that I want. Um, or I can go back into the edit queries and filter based on edit queries. Uh, find out what we do in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.